So here's a quick little shrink, shrink rip for uh, Toulon 1793, Napoleon's first great victory back when Napoleon was a captain in the army. And uh, this is an operational level game. Uh, as it has of battalions and companies, it's area movement based, which is a, a format that I'm okay with, but not that excited about. However, the reason why I, I purchased this game was, uh, as I read about the design and development of this by Andy Lokes, uh, ju I just got more and more excited about it, and uh, certainly fell in love with the map art, and uh, having something in the uh, early 17, well, in the 1793 period, early in Napoleon's uh, career, was something that was of interest to me, and I'd be very curious to see how this all plays out. It's a 24-page rule book, 16-page playbook. Uh, so let's have a look at it, and we'll uh, we'll go gaga over it. I'm probably not actually going to get to play this this year unless I can find someone to play it with. Uh, just I've got a lot of other things on my plate, and I'm having a hard time getting focused lately. So baggies. Hmm, I feel like punching chemical smell of a new game. A black and white rule book. In the typical Legion uh, games format, nice, clear, uh, double column, large font, <coughs> nice headings. I had a quick look at the rules uh, at another time and they're, they seem to be fairly straightforward. I'm, I'm not 100% certain that it'll all play well together, but it certainly looks very, very interesting and uh, reads well anyway. Uh, the playbook, which is just 10 pages long, has designer notes in the back. Multiplayer. Oh, oh, see, see, I didn't know it offered multiplayer games, so you can have a three, four, five, six, or even seven player game. There you go. How about that? Well, that might be a fun, this might be a fun uh, thing to try with my uh, little local gaming group here. All right. Rules are done. These are not the easy punch counters, which I, quite frankly, I prefer uh, this format. Lovely artwork on the counters, too. Supply different formation markers, I assume. Yeah, and units. Then uh, I'll switch back and I guess we should show you Napoleon. I'm sure he's here somewhere now. I don't know what I forget what these are for, but these are uh, uh, force levels, uh, I think. There we go. Temporary losses and permanent losses. Yeah, so the force levels for the individual units. There's a history article in here as well. I've read much of this. This is a, a lot of this was put in the uh, War Diary magazine, I believe. Probably looking forward to having a, a detailed read of that. Well, this is uh, these counters. Yes. Okay. So just all the all the all the different leaders are are represented here. Then you've got your infantry, artillery, etc. And there's Napoleon actually here. I'm looking to see if he is. There's Bonaparte. Right. There. Uh, you can't see. Right there. The young Bonaparte, no less. All right. Let's have a look at this map in person, up close. You can actually buy. Uh, a copy of the map as a post in a poster format as well, which I thought was uh, very clever. It was so popular that uh, folks wanted uh, wanted it sent. It comes in a tube and everything. Wanted a poster version of the map, and there it is. Looks just as beautiful in person as it does on Facebook and BGG. Got your terrain charts there. Uh, your the side, your various uh, victory point tracks and operation point tracks, um, just very, very nice, really well done, gives you a real period feel there, and then there's a couple of charts and stuff in the bottom here, uh, combat results tables, rally tables, movement attrition, operation point schedules, expanded sequence of play, that's nice, these are all uh, nicely formatted, there's a battle board to conduct your battles on. A little uh, 
intro thingy. Nicely done, really nicely done. Wonderful packaging, wonderful uh, uh, quality stock. This paper is, uh, I would call this uh, almost a high gloss finish on the paper. Uh, the counters uh, nicely done as well. This is just a really nice package. I think the only thing that would have kicked it up a notch would have been having the rule books all in colour as well. But I can live with that. And some baggies and some dice as well. Wonderful package to Line 1793. Congratulations, Andy. I know you're very excited about uh, getting this out the door. So we will look forward to playing that sometime this year. All the best. Talk to you soon, guys.